I chose Hong Kong because I was recently on this show, uh, started in the UK, called Who Do You Think You Are? It's basically a television program that um, traced your heritage and your family trees. So I was asked to go on this program and I thought, sure. And so um, they don't tell you where they're going or where, you get, where they're going to take you. And they gave me a ticket at the airport, a flight, and naturally I thought I was going to Vietnam. Ho Chi Minh, okay, here we come. You want to learn about my great grandparents from Saigon? I came to Hong Kong. Yeah, so I found out through this program only uh, a year and a half ago that I have Hakka Chinese blood. Yeah, and so I came to land in Hong Kong. We drove and I met my extended family that I never knew existed. And I thought, oh my gosh, you know, and everything I do is about heritage and culture and history. Um, that's why I've delved so far deep into my Vietnamese culture. But now with this, uh, you know, Chinese um, uh, connection, I'm here. Um, I plucked Leroy, my brother, out from Red Lantern in Sydney. Uh, we've been uh, open there for 15 years. And um, Leroy is actually a fantastic uh, fashion designer and he used to come to Hong Kong all the time to buy all of his beautiful fabrics. And uh, so I thought, um, Leroy, you want to come to Hong Kong? <laughs> and so he jumped at the chance. So he's here um, at Moi Moi running the place, um, but also, um, you know, still doing his fashion and, and buying his fabrics and still doing his thing. So it's a, it's a perfect um, scenario for both of us. My biggest hopes for my business is for um, uh, people in Hong Kong to understand more about Vietnamese cuisine. You know, I wanted to show Hong Kong that um, Vietnamese cuisine is really diverse, you know, and it changes from, from one end of the country to the next, to the, to the bottom, for example. Um, and um, it's very regional. So I want to show that Vietnamese cuisine is not just all about baguettes and pho, right? You come here for dinner and you get dishes from all over Vietnam, from Hanoi, from Hoi An, to Nha Trang, to Saigon. So uh, we've got so many different dishes that I want to share with Hong Kong. And so that's my main goal for Moi Moi. My favorite French, it has to be the combination of a beautiful French butter, yeah, uh, mixed with a really refined fish sauce, yes. So I do that, not, not too heavy on the butter as the French would, but light on the butter, but you know, marrying it well with fish sauce and seasoning and wow, it such, makes such a great sauce. And um, also even a lovely, lovely dressing as well. Yeah. It's a good question. I admire um, most in the F&B industry would have to be um, the street vendors that I see all around the world. You know, they, they work extremely hard, they're there on the street, and they specialize mainly in one dish. And they've been doing it, that same dish, for 40 years. And they perfect it, and they've refined it, and um, they keep going, and they want to pass that down to the next generation. So for me, um, I take my hat off to those guys because that's where I get most of my influence from. And um, that's what I enjoy doing, eating some fantastic street food who's cooked by that little old lady who's been you know, sitting there for, for, for so many years, and so happy doing it as well. And without those guys, I mean, where, who else do we learn from?